All right, so this is a demonstration of the major geospatial portal on the brand new iPad Pro. So I'm going to open the web page, and what we have here is uh, basically a view of the SEPTA project. We have both map and satellite view to look at to be able to orient ourselves. We also have, for this project, we have uh, five different types of data. We have photos, we have ladybug panoramas, we have amber data from the rail cart, and we have the PDF drawings for the entire project. Okay, so let me start with the ladybug images. These panoramas are taken from a camera. I'll zoom down close, pick a position. The camera that we're using is an immersive camera like Google Street View, and we have the ability to look around with our fingers, zoom in, zoom out, and then what's really cool is we can measure. So with these tools up here, we can place a measurement and really just pick a spot maybe on the top of rail here and then on this top of rail over here and we get a dimension of 9.4 feet horizontal is the same distance there's no elevation difference and we have an azimuth okay we also can just get the coordinate values of any point so if we need the top of that curb maybe for a drainage study just wait for it to turn red click it and we see it's northern easting in elevation for that particular point on uh, Pennsylvania State, uh, Southern State Plain. So this is how the, they can more interact with the panoramas. I'm also going to show you a few other tools. If they just want to look at mobile LiDAR data, uh, we have some sample mobile LiDAR data here. I'll, zo I'll zoom in close and we'll pick an intersection. When I put the uh, pano on, we're looking at the uh, LiDAR view and the intensity values are showing. So anything that's bright white is highly reflective. Anything that's dark gray is not reflective. Okay, but we have the same capability. Zoom in, zoom out, pan left and right and measure. Measure, we'll do again. We'll measure maybe from the curb uh, to uh, the inside track. So we'll go right here and we get a measurement of 19.4 feet. There's an elevation difference of 0.1, and we get the vertical and horizontal azimuth. Okay, so you get a sense for how the UPANO works with both mobile LiDAR data and ladybug imagery. On this project, we also did, uh, and we can center, center our view like with that tool there, we did amber data. So this is in the tunnel, okay, from the 40th Street portal down here, goes into the center city around City Hall, comes out on, I think it's 40, 36 or something, or 33rd, yeah. So this this is all LiDAR data taken from the Amberg GRP 5000. So if I click on one of these guys and say click view, now we're looking at LiDAR data taken from the Amberg cart. So you can see this is like a wide part of the tunnel where there's, there's inbound and outbound traffic. Same tools again, measure, pull, dimension. The other cool thing, you see these other triangles in the view, we can actually step to the next uh, LiDAR point cloud. It'll actually move us down the track by just choosing that. It's loading up, and now we're in the next one, okay? So you have, have some capabilities to manipulate and move within, within the actual point cloud. Don't have, you don't have to go back out to the navigation. Okay, so back to the main navigation. Uh, the other thing we have is the, the actual images coming off of the, uh, the back of the mobile ladder vehicle. We have four fixed cameras. Uh, with location sync on, it'll actually go back and forth between the different data types uh, and hold your position. Uh, but you can see here we have uh, multiple cameras, fixed, fixed view. Now these, these pictures are actually very high resolution. So if you wanted to use one in, like a, uh, in, a, in a document, you could basically hold your finger down open in a new tab or copy it. If you're uh, on a laptop, it'll be basically a double click and then file save. So all this information is available to the user uh, to pull down to their local machine. The final piece of data I wanna talk about are the PDF drawing. So everything that we're doing here is in an effort to ge generate uh, base mapping for SEPTA for their uh, study. What we're showing here is all the different lines in different colors, and then each one of the boxes represents a drawing. So I'm just gonna look at this sheet eight for Baltimore Avenue, it's Route 34. Click on it, and again, same deal. It's a PDF that they can download and save, or they can just zoom in and take a look. Uh, both horizontal uh, geometry and vertical profiles for both tracks are included. 
So the entire system is, is assembled uh, with all the PDFs, all, all the live R data. Everything the user could need is in one interface through the major geospatial portal.